Hello everyone, FedEx Game here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a secret room underneath a grave. Now, I actually got this idea from a part of Uncharted 4. If you have played that game, it's an amazing, beautiful game. But if you have played through the game, then you probably know the part that I'm talking about. And I don't really want to go into it in case anyone does decide to play the game. I don't want to spoil anything. But underneath this grave is a secret room. Now, we do have to throw in the right item. I could throw a diamond block in there. Nothing will happen. I could throw an emerald, gold block. Nothing will happen. However, if I throw one bone in there, which kind of seems weird that I would throw all that good stuff stuff in there but it only opens up with a bone but if i throw a bone in there boom the grave will pop up and then my door will open up in the back now you don't have to add in the little grave guy right here the little zombie guy poking up i just thought this would be a cool idea so you know hey your door is opened up and you're ready to go inside so right back here behind the grave is uh, the secret room so we come right down here and if you guys notice this is my simple secret staircase and then we can walk in here and right in here is where all the items go that don't belong in here and then of course this chest has our bones and as you can see i tested this thing out quite a bunch before i decided to actually do a tutorial on it then if I click this button right here it will close up our secret room behind us so no one will know anything is down here and then of course if I click the button again it will open up our staircase once again we can go ahead and jump on out of here and then to close it up we all we have to do is just re-throw a bone at our graveyard and it will close up our secret door behind us so let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial guys all right guys so for this build you're going to need a five by ten spacing and you're also going to have to dig down five now that red stain clay right there at the front that's going to be the exact spot where your grave is going to be and then the three by two behind that that's the exact spot where your staircase is going so if you are building this i highly recommend building the layout it will definitely help out now the resources you're going to need for this build are nine sticky pistons one normal piston five hoppers three droppers two redstone comparators ten redstone repeaters one redstone block a handful of redstone two redstone torches one button one minecart with a hopper one powered rail or any rail will really do two armor stands that's in case you do want to do the zombie if you don't want to do that then you don't need any of the armor stands and things like that we are also going to need five slime blocks four chests three soul sand and at least five immovable objects all right guys so to get things started off we're going to go ahead and build our little zombie dude that's going to be poking through the grave first that's the easiest thing and then we're going to go ahead and jump into the sorting system afterwards so we're going to be counting over to this red stained clay block right here so after you got your five by ten spacing and dug down your five come to the bottom left hand corner i'm going to count over three blocks one two three and then we're going to count up four blocks one two three four then on top of this red stained clay block we're going to place a sticky piston facing upwards and then we're going to place a slime block on top of your sticky piston and then place a piece of soul sand on top of your slime block then right above your soul sand you're going to place in a armor stand i like to make sure my armor stand is nice and even as you can see it's kind of going towards the left i don't really like that but i'm going to try to get a straight one and hopefully it doesn't take me a very long time okay that's good i'm not going to keep going through this now once you got your armor stand in, we're going to go ahead and take out our block of choice we're going to be putting above our armor stand now i'm going to be using soul sand for my grave you can choose whatever block you want i just feel that soul sand or maybe even one of the newer blocks where are they well they're not really too new anymore but uh there it is right here uh podzol i highly recommend using that one as well or coarse dirt so no grass grows there but definitely soul sand is my favorite for a grave so we're gonna go ahead and place a piece of soul sand right above our armor stand like this then we're gonna place a piston facing downwards into our soul sand block like that and then we're gonna send power to our piston and that will push it right above our armor stand as you can see it is flush to our floor it is perfectly flush to our surrounding now if i go ahead and i activate this like this boom as you can see the armor stand will poke through our soul sand and then if i let it go it will go back down so boom it pokes through the soul sand and then goes back down and of course we can go ahead and add in a head i'm gonna go ahead and just add in a zombie head so boop like that and then if we let it go boom he goes back into the dirt and then if we activate it boom he pops out of the dirt and that's what we want so now we're gonna go ahead and start up on our sorting system all right guys so to get things started off with our sorting system this is when i throw the bone into the grave and it activates it of course like i said you can go ahead and change it up to whatever you like you don't have to use bones you can use whatever stackable item that you want to use so we're going to come right over here to where our sticky piston is and we're going to come over one block boom place a block like this and then take out your chest and then we're going to place two chests right here one and then one the furthest away from our sticky piston and we're going to do that one more time so boom and boom and that should be all four of our chests so we no longer need these next up we're going to take out our hoppers and we're going to place one hopper going into the side of this chest like this then we're going to come right above it and we're going to just place a hopper facing downwards into this one or you can actually face you know what, let's go ahead and face it towards the left just in case so we're just going to face a hopper going that way into this block towards the left hand side so it should look something like this the bottom one's going into the bottom chest and then this one is facing away from it next up we're going to place another hopper going right into the top of this chest and then another hopper going off the side of this one now the top chest is what's going to collect the items that don't go into our sorting system so any other items thrown into this thing won't get caught up and backed up into it and then you can go ahead and take it out in case anyone tries to get in there hopefully no one knows anything's there because 
I don't think anyone would be throwing anything at a grave hoping something will uh, happen to it. Next up, we're going to come right down here and off of this second hopper right here. We're just going to come out a block from it like this. And we're going to place a comparator coming out of this second hopper right here. So place a comparator going this way. Place a block in front of your comparator and then two blocks over. One, two. Place redstone above both of these blocks and then a redstone torch off the side of it like this. Now, this is where you get to add in whatever items you want. Now, I'm going to be using bones. You can use whatever you like as long as it is a stackable item. So go into the second hopper right here. Take out your items that you want to use and just go boom, one, two, three, four, and then place as much as you want right here. It should go ahead and funnel down until it hits 18. So boom, as you can see, I put it in. It's going to funnel down until it reaches 18 inside of this one. And then once it's done, it's going to just funnel the rest of our bones into this bottom area or whatever item you're going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed it up. And then you can see that it will funnel down to 18. Actually, it's almost there. So I don't really need to speed it up. So boop, as you can see, it stops at 18. So now every time I throw a bone into this one, it will activate turning off that torch right there. So let me go ahead and just uh you know i could just go inside this chest here and take out the bones from you so boom and as you can see if i throw an item right here boop this will go off and then back on boop goes off and goes back on however if i throw any other item at it boom as you can see it will not go off it will go inside of this chest right here because it does not activate our thing so whatever item you chose here is the only item you'll be able to use on this secret door next up what i want you to do is place a block right above this hopper next to your soul sand Place your powered rail on top of it or whatever rail you're using. Place your minecart with a hopper on top of that. And then go ahead and break the block and let it fall into place. Next up, we're going to take out our block of choice that we're going to be using for our grave. Now, if you're using soul sand like me, go ahead and take out your soul sand once again. And place soul sand right above your minecart with a hopper. Take out a piston and face that piston downwards into that soul sand like this. Make sure you don't hit the minecart, guys. You don't want that to move. And then go ahead and just send power to it. And now you'll no longer be able to see that minecart with hopper. Then we're going to go ahead and take out our block of choice that we're going to be using in the surrounding area around your graveyard. I'm going to be just be using grass. I'm going to go ahead and just place my grass blocks right around it like this. This is just so this minecart doesn't move. We don't want this minecart moving at all. Once it moves and gets out of the area, then it kind of ruins everything. So there we go. And we could just leave it like this. And as you can see, now we can no longer move that minecart in there. It should be stuck inside of here forever. Now we're going to go ahead and hook this up to our little zombie dude that's going to be poking through the grave. So come right back down over here to where these two pieces of redstone is and come down one and place another piece of redstone here. Then we're going to place a repeater coming out of that redstone going this way. And we're going to place a piece of redstone right in front of our repeater. Let me go ahead and just change the color so we can see it better. Boop, like that. And then we're going to place a block in front of our redstone and then place a repeater going this way into this block right here like this. And then we're going to place another piece of redstone on this side as well. So now if I throw my bone at this once again, and now the zombie should poke through the grave, letting us know that it is activated. So boop, as you see our zombie pokes up and then goes back down because I have not added in the other function that will keep it up while we open up the door. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and build our secret little entrance. So to get things started off with our secret entrance, what I want you to do is take out your droppers and your hoppers. I'm going to come right here next to this redstone. Now make sure they're droppers, guys. Make sure they're droppers, not dispensers. If they're dispensers, this will not work. So coming out of this redstone, we're going to place a dropper like this. Then we're going to place another dropper facing upwards in front of this dropper. And then we're going to place in a block, two blocks from here. So one, two like that. And then we're going to place a dropper facing downwards into this one. So go ahead and take your droppers once again. Just break another block down and place a dropper facing downwards into that one. Go ahead and take out a hopper and place a hopper going into the side of this dropper. And that should be everything. So we should have a dropper going into a dropper, going into a dropper, and then up into a hopper, making a nice turnabout. So we'll just keep going around and around and around. Next up, what I want you to do is go inside of this bottom dropper right here and place in an item of your choice. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in one piece of redstone. That's all you need is just one item in there. If you add in any more than one item, it will probably ruin the entire thing. So just make sure you only have one item inside this whole entire thing. Next up, what we're going to do is come out two blocks from here. So one, two, place a comparator coming out of it, place a repeater coming out of your comparator, and then place a block in front of your repeater with redstone on top of it. So now if I throw a bone at this, this right here should come on. So go ahead and take out your bones or whatever items you're using. Go ahead and throw it at your grave. And now this should activate turning on your competitor and that will create a T flip flop. And then if we go ahead and throw it at it again, boom, it should turn it off. Now what we can do is hook this redstone up here to right down there to activate our zombie so we know when it's open. So what we're going to do is just take out another redstone torch, place the redstone torch off the side of this block like this, place a piece of redstone down here, and then place a repeater going into that like that. So now we know it's activated. So when your zombie's up like this, that means your door is activated. So now we can go down into our secret little area. However, if we throw another bone at it, it should deactivate it thus letting it go. So boop, and as you can see, it goes right back down into its respectful place. So for right now, we wanna make sure this redstone is off. So go ahead and throw whatever you have right here into that and make sure your redstone is off just for now. 
So what I want you to do is come down three blocks from here. So one, two, three, actually come over four, come over four blocks from there. And then we're gonna come in one block this way. And then we're gonna take out our redstone and place four pieces of redstone right here. So one, two, three, four. And then off of this one right here, we're gonna place a repeater going this way, set it to four ticks delay. Then right in front of this redstone right here, we're gonna place an immovable object. I'm gonna be using obsidian, but I highly recommend using furnaces. So we're gonna place an immovable object right in front of our redstone. Make sure it cannot move. Now, if you don't know what an immovable object is, it just means a piston cannot push it. So if I put a piston right here, and then I go ahead and try to send power to my piston, as you can see, it will not push that block because it is immovable. Actually, let me go ahead and take out my redstone block. It'll make it a lot easier. So as you can see, it is not moving that obsidian block. However, However, if I put a block in front of it that's movable, and then I send power to it, as you can see, the piston will extend and then retract. If it's immovable, that means it cannot be moved whatsoever. So I'm using obsidian, or you can use furnaces if you want to. Next up, take out your repeaters, and coming out of this block right here, we're going to set a repeater going this way, just like that one, and set it to two ticks to light. Place a block in front of it like that. And then take out your sticky pistons and place two sticky pistons right here. One, two. Take out your slime blocks and place two slime blocks right here. And that's why we need that immovable object there. Because we don't want the slime block picking up that block. If it picks up that block, guys, it's going to ruin everything. Then we're going to come out two more slime blocks from here. One, two. And then we're going to place our blocks of choice right above the slime blocks. So I'm going to be using a grass for mine. So I'm going to place four grass blocks right above all those slime blocks. Next up, what we're going to do is take out our sticky pistons once again, and then off the back side over here, we're going to place in two sticky pistons facing upwards with our blocks of choice on top of them. Once again, I'm going to be using grass blocks. Then we're going to take out our blocks, and we're going to place a block right in front of our four tick delay repeater and swing it back over here to this redstone. So let's just go one, two, three, and four, and then set up redstone along all of these blocks right here. So now if I actually activate it, this should be flush to the floor and you shouldn't be able to see down here at all. So if I throw a bone right here like this, boom, as you can see, it should be completely flush to the floor. Perfect. We can go ahead and walk right above it. And then if I throw a bone at it again, it should open up our secret door. Now, all we have to do is just pull these blocks to the side. Now, all we have to do is just set it up so these blocks get pulled to the side so we can actually go down into our secret room. So we're going to come right over here to where this block is. And we actually don't need this block here anymore. Go ahead and break it. And then right above your dropper, place in a sticky piston facing inwards. And then off of this side, place a sticky piston facing inwards. Make sure they're one block away from these blocks. Next up, we're going to come over two blocks from here. One, two. Place a piece of redstone here. And then a repeater going that way on one tick to light. Now we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side. So we're going to come right over here and above this repeater, place a block in, and then we're going to have to place another immovable object here. That's because of this slime block. So place an immovable object, place in a piece of redstone here, and then place a repeater going into that right there. So now if I go ahead and activate this thing with a bone, it should close it up. Boom. There we go. And then when I throw another bone at it, it should fully open it up this time, letting us a making it so we can actually walk down into our secret base. So that's pretty much it, guys. You are completely done. Now, what we have to do is just hook up one more thing so it looks a little bit cleaner on the inside. So to make it look a tiny bit cleaner on the inside, we're going to come right here while our doors open up. As you can see, the staircase is right here, so it is nice and open. We're going to come right here in front of our slime blocks and place in two sticky pistons facing upwards with blocks of choice on top of them. This is going to be the inside of your secret room, so I'm going to be using stone bricks inside my secret room. Then I'm going to place two stone bricks on top of these slime blocks, and then we're going to dig out these three blocks right here. So one, two, like that. Well, two blocks. Sorry, one, two. You should be able to see that sticky piston. Take out your redstone, and then we're going to place redstone right here like this. One, two, and three. And then we're going to bring this redstone to right underneath this repeater like that. There we go. So there should be one, two, three, four. Then we're going to dig out two blocks going this way and set in two pieces of redstone. And that is it, guys. You are completely done. So now if I throw a bone right here, it should close up the entire thing. Boom. And then if I throw another bone at it, it should open up. And actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and add in a few more blocks right here. So boop and boop, just like that. So now if we throw a bone at it, it should fully open it up, letting us into our secret base, just like that. Now, all we have to do is just take out our blocks of choice and fill in this entire area so it looks nice. And then we can go ahead and add in that gravestone as well that I completely forgot about. So we're going to go ahead and just fill this all in like this. Boom, 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 and boom. And then all we have to do is just fill in this area as well. There we go. And fill in this right here. And then also take out your move objects once again because like i said we don't want our slime blocks picking anything up so we're going to place in two immovable objects right here one two and right here as well one and two just like that and then you can take out your blocks of choice and fill in whatever blocks of choice you want right here and right here and we're also gonna have to put a button in here i almost forgot we have to put our button in too so to place in your button on the inside we're gonna come over here to our chest place a piece of redstone right here off of this block place a block above it 
Go ahead and take out your button and now we could close it up from the inside as well so if i click this button boom as you can see the door will close up from the inside and then if i click it again it should open it up and then of course what we're going to do is just dig out a few more blocks right here i'm going to just quickly uh speed up the video here just so you don't have to see me dig this out so there we go i dug it out just a tiny bit so we can go ahead and throw in a nice little floor right here and then i'm gonna go ahead and take out my blocks and just bring it all the way around to right here so we can hide all this redstone up we don't want to see any of this disgusting redstone we're gonna go ahead and add this in right here so if i want to come in here and go inside the chest and take out any items that aren't supposed to be here we can go ahead and take them out inside this one i should be able to take out my bones and then of course if i hit this button right here boom it should close it up and oops i forgot we have to add a few more right here boom boom and if i oh, hit the button once again it should open up our little secret area as well and then we can go ahead and jump right out of it and also i almost forgot right back here if you want to hide any of this redstone back here we can go ahead and just come in here take out our removable objects and just place removable objects around all of your slime blocks like this and that should hide up all of that redstone underneath there and then we go ahead and just add our blocks right here so now we can't see any of that redstone we can go ahead and jump out of our secret area come over here and throw a bone at it and it should go ahead and close up everything now of course oh why is this over here like this this actually looks really weird Oop, let me get rid of that now if you want to add in that gravestone as well all you need to do is take out an armor stand let me go ahead and take out my armor stands we're going to need a piston and a redstone block and we're also going to need a cobblestone wall. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a cobblestone wall. And what you're going to do is place down an armor stand. Try to get the most even one that you can. That's not... I, I want it better than that. <laughs> I don't know why they do this. Uh, I wish they would just uh, let you pick which one you could put in. Uh, nope. Still not good. Nope. 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 You know, I'll just go with that one. That one's, uh, yeah, that, that, that one doesn't look too good as well, but whatever. <laughs> All you have to do is just go ahead and place a cobblestone wall right above it like this with a cobblestone wall like that. Then we're going to come up two blocks. One, two, break the middle one. Place a piston facing downwards. Go ahead and get rid of all of this. Send power to your piston. Boop. Place another piston facing downwards. And send power to your piston. And there is our gravestone. So that's the entire thing completely hidden. As you can see, you can't see anything around this area. However, if I throw a bone at it, boop. It should open up my secret door behind it. I can now go into my secret room. And then, of course, down here, if I click this button, it should close it up behind me. And then once I'm done doing what I have to do down here, it is really dark down here. Let me go ahead and add in one torch at least. Let me go ahead and one torch. There we go. And then when I'm ready to leave, just hit the button over here again. It will open up my secret area. I can now go ahead and jump out. And then, of course, if I throw yet again another bone at this area, boop it will close it up behind me and there you guys have it that is how you build a secret room underneath a grave if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys Bloop. peace